What's going on YouTube? It is your boy Vlogmaster Master Vlogger here letting you know that I miss you so very much sweetheart here baby come here oh my god it has been so long fuck oh, I just had to get that out of my system god damn it feels good to be back guys what the fuck should we do today? I was thinking about reading the news, giving my opinion. You know, it might be an unpopular one, but it's my opinion and you click the video. So let's fucking get into it. All right, guys, getting right into it. Tis the season of breakups, apparently. Logan Paul and Chloe Bennett have officially broken things off. That is right, guys, there is no more Clogan, in case you were invested. I don't know if my audience watches their videos. I do, because I'm a YouTuber. But anyway, that happened. Also, Jake Paul and Erica Costell broke up, and that also has me thinking, Whoa, that is very shortly after the Shane Dawson documentary about why Jake Paul is or isn't a sociopath. And I was thinking maybe he was possibly using Erica Costell to make himself seem a little more sentimental, a little more sensitive, a little more in touch with reality. But as soon as Shane Dawson's documentary dropped and it was finished, almost immediately they broke up and now Jake Paul is caught sleeping with, you know, numerous bitches. <laughs> That's about the only way I can put it. Ariana Grande seems to be coming out on top after her breakup with Pete Davidson. And to that I say, I'm still quite disappointed because her and Mac Miller's relationship never should have ended. They were absolutely perfect. To be quite frank, my honest opinion is Ariana and Pete Davidson's whole relationship just made me upset. Also, he made her out to be some sort of object and a trophy, and I don't think it's cool to treat any woman like that at all. Hit me up, women. I'm a good guy. And as many of you motherfuckers are aware, the midterms were held just yesterday. That went okay for both parties. The Republicans lost the House, kept the Senate, the Democrats gained the Senate, and I just want to say congratulations to the both of you. You did a great job, mate. We all know where I stand and that doesn't need to be voiced because I just want to say across the board, thank you to absolutely everyone that participated and voted. Because if you don't vote and you're above the age of 18, 18 or older, you know, and, and you just didn't get out there and you didn't do your part, go fuck yourself, you little fucking loser. Live in your mom's basement if that's what you want to do and not vote for shit. Because, you know, we're the future. We decide, okay? Man, you may not think democracy works, but democracy fucking works, okay? It's a bunch of people collectively getting out and saying, hey, man, I want to make a change, and this is the change I want to make. And one of those changes that wasn't made, that should have been made, was measure three, RIP. I had big plans for this vlog today, okay? I was gonna fucking spark me a doinky doink and smoke it on the internet, but now I can't. Because not enough of you fucking assholes went out, went out and voted for what we should have voted for, you know? So here I am, reading the news like a jackass. Also in the news, guys, James Charles has officially released his newest makeup line, Morph. Actually, I think that might be his only makeup line. I really don't have an idea, just because, you know, makeup is not my thing. I don't really watch his videos, but it's big news. It's on the trending page. I'm going to talk about it. Congratulations. The universe is proud of you. You did a good job. I like the makeup. And it would appear, guys, that Lil Peep is currently the most popular dead rapper, being as that he has released three songs just in this last month, guys. Let me read them off for you. He has released Life is Beautiful, Runaway, and Cry Alone. So far, I have only listened to Runaway, and I thought, wow, this song makes me extremely sad. I'm going to turn it off before I cry. Good job, Lil Peep. Rest in peace. And last in the news, guys, the United States Air Force has been testing missiles left and right, but they were like, hey, guys, this has nothing to do with current world events. We're fine. And I'm just sitting here thinking, yeah, I fucking hope so, because if we're not fine, chances are everyone has missiles and then they're just flying all over the goddamn place and then we don't have a channel anymore. I hope that's not the case, and I don't think it is. Have faith in the system, guys. It is your boy, Vlogmaster Master Vlogger, here signing out, and I would like to remind you guys to please, if you have not already, and there's no excuse if you haven't already, but fucking spank that subscribe button, punch that like button, and physically fucking assault the bell for notifications. I goddamn love all of you. We will be back, baby. See you later.